Hi and welcome along to another video brought to you by iSense Labs in collaboration with OpenCart. Today we will shed some light on the return statuses in your OpenCart 3 store. In short, there are three different statuses you can manage. Return status, return actions and return reasons. We will show you where each of those is shown and how you can create your own statuses. Ok, so without further ado, let's start. First, from your dashboard go to sales and then hit returns. This is where you will see all product returns submitted by your customers. We have two test returns locked right now. As you see by their status, one of them is complete, while the other one is pending. Click on add new. This is where you can add a product return manually from the admin panel. Scroll down to the product information and reason or return section. This field is the return reason status. It's what customers select as a reason for their return from their storefront. Next is the return action, which is the decision you take. There are three default statuses. Finally, the return status which is also selected by the store admin. Now, where all of these are managed from? To answer this, go to System, Localization, and then Returns. You will notice that this is a drop-down with three different statuses in separate menus. Let's start with the return statuses. The three default entries you have here are Awaiting Products, Complete, and pending. Click on add new to create your own status. For example, let's enter shipped again. Simply enter the new status name and click on save. That's about it. As you can see the new status has appeared among the rest of the statuses. Ok, so let's head over to the next one, return action. The default entries here are Credit Issued, Refunded and Replacement Sent. This status is the one that comes into effect when you process the return and have decided how to resolve the case. Again, to create a new status, click the Add New button. For example, let's create Refund Declined. Click on Save and you're all set. Last, return reasons. These reasons are located in the form that your customers submit when they want to return a product. The default entries include dead on arrival, faulty, order error, wrong item, or other. Once more, we can click on add new and add a new return reason. For example, product does not match description. Click on save. Ok, so that's it for return statuses. Now let's go to the storefront to see what your customers will see when they want to submit a product return. Scroll down and click the return link in the footer. As you can see the return reason now appears among the rest of them in the product information section. As you can see, the new returns that we have entered appear among the rest of the product information section on the return form. Ok, pretty simple isn't it? So we hope you have gotten a basic understanding on how return statuses work now. And if you did so, hit the like button to give us a thumbs up and make sure to Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming OpenCard 3 video tutorials. Thanks for watching.